Wow, we got a bunch of people in here already. Cindy, Mike, Josh C, Chad Thompson, Jason. Welcome in, guys. <clears throat> Randy, Molly, Jake, Ken. We got all the good people up in here. Rip, Rich, Sicko. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. You can put in a hashtag sticker, hashtag magnet. I guess, if Skinner Farms is still giving away magnets. Last I knew he was still doing that. What's up, Queen? Somebody. What's up, Wolves Den? You can't tell me what to do. Why, why can't I? Come on now. Uh, the other thing I will do here. Sup, Sarah? Sarah, I got something to tell you about that uh, blue gauge on my boat it is for one thing it's no longer on my boat you see the hat you see both of them both hats <clears throat> uh so we were crabbing Steve from Wyoming and Parker and his fiance and me went crabbing Saturday. And we had a crab that was almost a keeper. Parker was measuring it with the, I think it was Parker. Either Parker or Steve was measuring it with the blue gauge. And it wouldn't, wouldn't get on there very good. So we set that one aside and used one of the other ones. And it, was, it wouldn't even go over top the crab over the shell so after we put it in the box parker's like let me see them gauges and he holds them up and that blue one was a 16th bigger than any of the other ones and that thing goes whew. i threw it back so it could grow up and be a big gauge i said i don't be needing a big gauge in my boat Well, then Hitch gets one of these back. That's what he's doing. Okay. I know I littered boring, but I didn't want it on my boat. That's why... That's why we didn't... I was watching that video on the premiere. I was watching to see if there was any of those that we threw back that we shouldn't have. But I think we were measuring them with the other gauge. Yeah, Hitch, you, I was supposed to get one. You were supposed to get two. Sandy was supposed to get one. That's what I'm hearing. I have no idea, Randy. But most trips this year have limited out. It's just the last month or so the crabbing was horrible and uh yeah i 
I didn't measure them all with the blue one. I didn't like that blue one anyway. Yes, the herring are gone. Somebody can come up on panel if you want. Hitch was supposed to get the blue for himself and one orange for his giveaway. I was wondering why I was getting so many of them, but yeah, whatever. I sent Sandy hers, so. Mid-South, were you right in the uh, path of it? <laughs> it claims your herring is gone, too. <clears throat> yeah, the crabs are back now. Also, Barbie was telling me that she saw or she just sent me some pictures of that sea line out there. Uh, that one that was had that big hole in the back of it. And she said it's still on the dock, still down there. And then she saw a video of it uh, swimming. So I, it still looks healthy. That thing might pull through. I would have thought somebody had gone and put it out of its misery a long time ago. Well, that was two weeks ago that we saw it, Sarah? Something like that. <clears throat> so, uh... Adventure America, how um, how long was the sun behind the moon? <laughs> I found the culprit. You see that? See that? I got nice people that hit the thumbs down button. Four minutes total. That's that's a long time. It went through uh, right here. Um, whenever that last one was, seven, eight years ago, whenever it was. And uh, here at my house, it was only for about 10 seconds. But if I'd have been 15 miles north further, or not even that, Five miles north north further, it would have been over a minute. But I didn't I didn't go up there. What's up, Joe? Ed, I don't know if I said hi to you, but hi. Appreciate you being in here. I know it, Cecilia. I don't even care. I don't think they hit the thumbs down anyhow. <laughs> I figured that. Yeah, it went, we we went pretty dark here for just about 10 seconds, but it was orange, kind of weird, uh, kind of weird lighting for a few minutes before and after for sure. What's up, Bernie? <clears throat> Yeah, Joe, did you get did you go out and run your boat for a long time then and see if it was 
messing up. <laughs> Sup, Josh? <laughs> so far so good that's awesome that's awesome somebody can come up on panel if they want we got 19 thumbs ups 22 people in here. What's up, Lynn? I don't doubt it. I really don't doubt it. He said if Sicko comes up, he will too. I tell you what, I sure can feel the uh, weld burn from today. I didn't wear gloves or anything on my arms. So, whoo, boy. They are uh, they're a little warm. Yeah, it is, Ken. Captain Ed to you, Steve. That's right. <clears throat> Trying to get over here to... This. So I can give myself another thumbs up. That's normal, Hess. Wouldn't expect any uh, anything else from you. We're almost due a giveaway. We got twenty one thumbs ups. I, just because I'm giving myself thumbs ups. Hush. There. We're at 23. What's been rough, Ken? Work or what? Got to model the hat. I don't even have a hat in here. All oh, this hat? I don't know. All 23 likes? No, I don't think so. I don't have that many channels. Sup, Mid South? How's it going? Let me know if my sound is okay. It's loud, but other than that, it sounds fine. Okay. I can turn it down some. If it's too loud, too, but Better. it's a little bit scratchy. Hmm. Well, that's like, no good. Like it's almost a not a good connection or something. But what's up, uh, Ram? Can you see the chat? 
Yes. Okay. I keep waiting for Sicko to come up. What's wrong with you, boring? That's not good. Uh, maybe if you go out and come back in, it might be the sound might be better. I don't know if it would or not, but what's up, True North? Thank you. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, let's try it. There's Sicko. Hey. What up? What's up, Jessica? <laughs> oh, Dan Davis sent me some nutria lure. I'm going to set my traps again this week for nutria and beaver. So why does Mid-South not have his face on screen? Because I'm topless. Would you like to see that? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't no, be no. saying yes. <laughs> it's still scratchy, mid cells. I don't know what the deal is. I don't either. It's sometimes it did. Now, that wasn't. But at first it was. I don't know. Maybe it's just a connection or lack thereof. Uh, I do I see everybody saying hi in chat. How's everybody doing? This is what took me so long. I had to go get another beer. Ah. Did you go fishing today, sicko? Did it? No. I, I went to work, and then I came home, and there's a chance of baseball-sized hail, so made sure I could get my truck in the garage. There you go. Just get a baseball bat. Uh, it, it had baseballs hit it last year at this time, right after I bought it. Hadn't ah. made the first payment yet, and it got hit by baseball size hail. Oh, that's, oh, that's great. Terrible. Yeah, we're still waiting on windows for the house. New roof, new fence, windows. Uh, that's all right, Lynn. Uh I went to work today and didn't have anything to do. And then uh, I figured I'd be home early today. And then my boss was like, uh, there's one thing you could do. And yeah, it took all day. And I'm sore. Welding and yeah. Oh, sorry. Lifting my big stuff around. <laughs> I think the storms may be here, and my uh, guardian dog is trying to tell me about it. Oh, got you. Uh, Lynn, they don't call you Big Sexy for anything. <laughs> it's a good try, uh, though. No, Steve. I took down a uh, portable shed slash shelving that we had what's up iowa and uh reworked some of the frame and then painted it and hauled it back to the shop and the boss didn't like it so we hauled it back to his place gonna repaint it tomorrow a different color that's why he didn't like it it's like i painted it the same color it was you, you could have hauled it down to my house because I'd need a lot of shelving. Well. And I wouldn't have cared what color it was. It was it was just the frame for the it's it's actually pallet shelving, but yeah. The pallet shelving is perfect for a kayak. Right. It would work great for a kayak. It's yeah. only sixteen inches between the shelves though. And that would hold and the, top uh, one, the top one has three like, of them. the top one has a lot of space between it because you got to get a forklift in there and pick it up and not hit the top. So, well, that would hold three of my five kayaks that are in the garage. Five kayaks, yeah. He ties uh, them all together and makes a raft out of them. So, I know you've got the ascend, yep. That, that's the one that I uh 
use to back my truck up against. If I accidentally hit it, it's no big deal. And then I've got my son's wilderness tarpon 120 because he doesn't have a garage at his place or a way to even transport it. Yeah. My wife's Jackson Tupelo 12.5. My Jackson Cusa a, H. Is, is the Tupelo, is that a uh, sit in? Yeah. Yeah. It's a <laughs> recreational uh, touring type kayak. Super fast. I cannot keep up with her. Yeah. If, I'm, when if I, I'm in a paddle kayak, I cannot keep up with her. I, I thought I had seen all of the fishing kayaks, at least to sit on top. So, you know. All right, fun. Ed. Thanks for stopping by. Well, Jackson does make a couple of, or did make a couple of sit in fishing kayaks. Yeah. I, you saw the video of me in a sit in. So. <laughs> well, you were in the wrong sit in. Oh, that's, this is true. I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> what I, what I really don't understand and, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to derail these, uh, your Earl. That's uh, all right. I don't understand why the kayak companies don't get into partnerships with kayak rental companies because the kayak rental companies give you the cheapest thing they can buy because they're there to make a profit. But there aren't that many kayak shops where you can go in and actually test drive a kayak. Well, you're going yeah. to the wrong kayak shop then because the one that I'm affiliated with, Oklahoma City Kayak, in Oklahoma City and Tulsa, have a great rental program where you can rent a fishing kayak for the entire weekend, pick it up on Friday, late afternoon, bring it back Monday morning for 100 bucks. If you like it, that $100 goes towards the purchase price. There you go. See, that's, that's, what, that's, that's how I think they should be. Um, and if you don't like it and you rent another kayak the next weekend, the $200 goes towards the purchase of a kayak. That that makes sense because, I mean, there's there's good markup in kayaks. I mean, I'm not saying that they're like, you know, going to get rich off of them. But, um, you know, I know there's a decent markup in them. Um, plus... You know, just being able to use the kayaks because there aren't a lot of the kayak shops. You know, it's kind of like you go buy the kayak. It's almost like a big box, but not quite as bad. You know, you go in, you go like a where well, you can't sit in in the store because they're not made to be sat in on dirt. You're going to you are going to the wrong kayak shops. Well, of course, I mean, I'm in Memphis. Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. You want to, if you go to Oklahoma City or Tulsa and you want to sit in a kayak on the concrete floor, they'll put it on the floor for you and say, "Have at it." Oh wow! Of course, they only sell the best kayaks there that can actually handle you sitting in it for a couple of minutes. They don't sell the cheap, thin plastic ones. Well, there are a couple of Hobies that are thin plastic, but. For the most part, they're all roto molded, nice thick plastic. Sir, you want to win some stickers them. yet? We are at twenty six thumbs up, so it's sticker time. Hey, I so Earl. Yeah. Before you start showing stickers, is that a dust off fishing sticker on your board back there? The bottom. Both. Both. Uh, right there. What What do I have to do to get one of those? I don't know. I, me that I, I have to. I direct I, messaged him to get these. Okay. I, I think he sells them, but he actually gave those to me. All right. Uh, but I'm gonna. We have twenty six thumbs up, so I'm gonna do a giveaway here. I got my style baits. Woody's trapping. I got a whole bunch of them this time, hitch by hitch. And another hitch by hitch. Right there. I got... Come on now. Ken, uh, I'll try to drop it in the mail tomorrow. Off the hook outdoors. This way. I got Queen Hess. I got Boring Fisherman. 
I should actually save these two for the last giveaway because uh, it's the last two I have, Randy and Lisa. I'll save those for the next one when we hit 40 thumbs ups. I got Molly, Pest Hunter's Best Catch. I got Jason, Pest Hunter. And that's it. And then I'll throw some of mine in if uh, whoever wins it doesn't have mine. So, hashtag sticker. I don't even have one of those, Steve. Uh, Jake won't even give me I do. You do? I got an Earl's Got Crabs. See, everybody except I except I me. don't have one. I don't have a Seago, so there you go. <laughs> I don't either. Not many, not many people do. I've got a bag of probably still forty of them. Um, boom, 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 boom. Okay, hashtag sticker. Let me share this screen. I know you do, Sarah. Life ain't fair. Hashtag rigged. Yeah. Exactly. It's only rigged if I don't win. What's that? It's only rigged if I don't win. Bobby, you better hit hashtag sticker quick. You're about to give some away. There you got it. Woo! He's probably going to win because he was the last one to put it in. Okay, here we go. Never be the first person to put the hashtag in guaranteed you won't win i think that was me <laughs> it's happened to me all the time oh, see ken. Boring ken. Fisherman. well it's that either means ken or hess. queen hess and boring fisherman out of that one there ain't no use in sending them back to him i've already got both of their stickers or i'd ask for it from you randy i don't have any stickers I'm still trying to rebrand re myself, you know, to get away from, you know. So, Ken, I got life. a question for you. Do you have a bunch of my stickers for when you do your live streams to do giveaways? I think I sent you all a bunch. I think I did. I could be wrong. Still have like three. Well, I'm going to send you a bunch of these boat ones because you guys need to start doing live streams and giving stuff away. So you might as well start with my stickers. And I ordered new stickers uh, Friday, so they should be here soon. I got, I changed them up. I mean, I didn't <laughs> change them really, but I kind of changed them. Uh, I'll show you what they look like now. There you what go, Mid South. There's your new sticker idea. What up, Ted? Whose new idea? It's not. It's not that new. It's just different. A little bit different. Uh, no, Mid South falling out of a kayak. That should be a sticker. Yeah, I'm, I'm the human live scope. Yeah, buddy. Right yep. there. Instead of a red YouTube. It's got a blue one, and then I got a, a big, a bigger QR code. So that's all. But it's also going to be in a five-inch sticker. Oh, I just turned my YouTube off. There you go. All righty. The, Q, the QR going to work this time? I hope it does. What a man. man. Aggravating. Last ones I got made. Um, can. So, Del, I have a question for you, my friend. Yep. So, um, you know, of course, they always say buy the second kayak first. You can't buy your second kayak first because. You don't know what you don't know. But anyway, um, yeah. with the bar, you've got, you use the pedals, right? I know you do. Yeah. Um, 
how do you not lose everything out of the pedal hole? Well, it's because Jackson, the pedals are mounted. They, there's an upper and lower portion of my pedal drive. So the lower portion, which has the actual prop and skeg, are mounted with six bolts into the kayak. So there is no hole for me to drop stuff into. Ooh, okay. I, I was thinking of most of them that you know have the removable drives. Yep. And like everybody else, you've got the whole thing flips up through the center of the kayak. And for me to get into shallow water, all I have to do is lift the lever, actually push down a lever, and it tucks up underneath my kayak. I thought that was the native that did that. That's that's not the native. That's nope. Jackson. That's Jackson. That has the patented. low middle and retracted position. Yep, that is patented by Jackson. See, I told you I've looked at I've looked at so many kayaks. It's it's yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, What's up, Dyer family? Welcome in. I'm gonna make you a mod so that you can go check out everybody's channel. Dyer family or Dyer. Yeah, Dyer Family Farm is a new channel that I found. They are from Oklahoma. I don't know oh, how nice. far they are. I don't know how far they are from you, but it's a homesteading um, channel. So if anyone wants to pick them up, uh, feel free. Awesome. Dyer Family Farm. Oh my gosh, are you serious? I mean, they are about thirty miles away from me. There you go. They are 30 miles away from me. I just went to their channel and saw their address. <laughs> uh, hey, one hey, county that... over, but 30 miles. Yup. So, yep, I'm about to sub to them since they're literally around the corner. All right, Hess. Have a good night. Good night, Hess. So yeah, Dale, one of the problems I have is, you know, I, I pull up my um, trolling drive, which is like right in front of my seat yep. pretty much. And I'm not yet organized. So like, there's this big gaping hole for everything to go out. So, yeah. yeah. The only thing that I've lost down a hole uh, on the NAR is, so I've got some thumb bolts that hold the upper and lower together. And I spun it off the top part real quick and it went flying down into the scupper that my uh, transducer goes through. Luckily yeah. I've got a transducer cover so it didn't go all the way out. Sick of they were asking you a question there. Oh, I'm sorry. Where am I? I am in Elgin, Oklahoma. Maybe a 30 minute drive away from you guys. Yeah, Dyer, there's also Modog, fishing with Modog. He's yep. close to Dell as well. Yep. Modog Mo is about a three mile drive, but if we could climb fences, it's less than half a mile. What's up, uh, 922? Welcome in. Hey, 922. Let's we see. Get that. Not make, sure you hit the, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. We are nine away from another sticker giveaway. So, If Hess wins the second st give, sticker giveaway, she can't win, right? Because they're already going to Ken. That's what well, always I happens. I haven't sealed it yet. So. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's <laughs> just add stickers. Thanks. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Oh. I might throw some more of mine in if she wins. <laughs> yeah, probably or easy. You put a you put a minnow on a hook, drop it down. If you don't get anything, move. <laughs> <laughs> Look for some submerged brush piles. They love. Yeah, exactly. Look for brush piles, yeah. and I don't even know how to catch them. So. That's a, that's what I've learned on uh, no, people. He just channel. said he said that was the easiest way. What he just described that is the absolute easiest way to catch a crappie. Yeah, find a tree or a brush pile, 
personally, me, I have better luck with a 38 ounce spinner bait in the spring. <laughs> yeah, when you're bass fishing. Yep. Exactly. I've caught biggest, some giant crappie doing that. My biggest crappie I caught was was all tuxedoed out in a bass tournament. I pulled that thing out and I said, what in the garbage is this? Because I'd seen the light ones, but once they get uh, they get very, very dark during the spawn because they are up shallow, so they talk about them having their tuxedo on. They, they turn not almost black, but almost black. Um, yep. They're really, they're, they're interesting. And crappie hit very differently than, you know, like a bass will inhale it. A crappie likes to smack it. And they thump and then they're gone. No, not the ones that I was catching that day out of a exposed brush pile that should have had some nice bass on it. Cut three crappie and I said, all right, I'm done with this brush pile and moved on. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, if they hit it. If you're, you know, if you got a, if you're moving something, then they, they inhale pretty good. But like minutes and stuff, they'll just, they'll swipe it. So the last time I went bass fishing, uh, I named an Eagle Dell because I was Mo Dog. I didn't catch anything and the Eagle caught one. <laughs> nice. Nice. That must have been the week before he and I went back out. <laughs> it was just last week, I think. I don't know. Uh, well, then you must have missed where Modog destroyed me eight to nine. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see that one. but <laughs> Yeah, him and his black and blue chatterbait with a black blade. There you go. Dyer family is picking up a few here. I see people catching them. Well, Modog, I, I got to tell you, the, the man puts out some good bass videos because I, I don't know how long it takes him to make one of those videos, but, you know, it's like fish after fish. I'm like, I hate you. <laughs> well, honestly, he goes, he fishes almost three days a week at a minimum to get those videos. And he's always recording. And so one day he may end up with two videos or no video but when you're out there three days a week that's a lot of video to edit yes it so that's is. that's how he's that's how he's getting so many fish videos that's why you don't see anything from me right now because the only video i've got is i think six hours of video of me fighting the wind and mo dog and i yelling at each other because we're not catching anything i think i'm gonna sell my kayak why? Yes, Randy, I do use a GoPro. You say why? Yeah, why? I'm going to get one of those little boats that you can stand up in instead of a kayak. I stand up in my kayak. Yeah, I could probably stand up in mine for a split second, too. But you got to get the right yeah, You got to have good balance to stand up in a kayak, and I don't. Anyway, I want to get one of those little 12-foot whatever they're called. I don't like know. The little crawler. skiffs. Yeah, a little skiff, whatever. Then I'll be able to stand up in that and be more maneuverable and yeah. Well now Jackson makes a uh oh yeah I forgot a thing. Blue Sky Boat Works. Yeah that's it. It's Basically actually more like a pontoon. And a right in the middle. Pontoons. Yeah I don't know about that though. It holds 600 pounds and can handle a three horsepower gas outboard. The only thing I'm going to do is uh, go in the creek with it anyway. But what's up, Jamaican Shore Fishing? Welcome in. Yeah, Blue Sky is one of those I look at it and I'm like, that is either really cool or really not. I can't figure out which. So the there's one guy that I fish tournaments against or have a couple of times. The guy's probably 70 years old and puts it in the bed of his truck. He wants Modog's link dropped. Here, let me let me uh, see if I can find it. It's fishing with Modog. I mean, I could probably do it. I'd, there it is. You got it? Yep. I'll quit then. There you go. Ken got it before you did. Ken's always beating me. 
Justin <laughs> always beats me to dropping links. <laughs> I never. It doesn't matter whose live I'm on. We start dropping links, and Ken always gets it done before I do. Either that or it's Mid South doing it. Yeah, I would actually. If I had a uh, pedal kayak, I think I'd keep it. But I don't know. That stretch of creek that I fish, the wind is just annoying for one thing. And I can never get my kayak. If I anchor, I can never get my kayak to sit the right direction that I can cast. Do you that's, have an anchor trolley? That's the other thing. I was about to ask that too. An anchor trolley. Anchor trolley? Yep. Yeah, you, can, you mount it on the side. It's got two pulleys, one in the front, one in the back, and you you basically put the anchor through the hole and tie the rope up, but you can move, you use the trolley part of it to either move it to the front or the back, depending on how you, where you want the anchor to be on the boat, on the kayak. Otherwise, it's like a movable you, cleat. Essentially, kind of, is yeah. what it is. It's a movable cleat. That might help. But the problem, I mean, yeah. But I can't get to the front and the back of the kayak to put the thing on there. That's you the put you reach down so, to the so side. You put you drop it right next to you while you're sitting in the kayak. The anchor goes straight down next to you, and then you just pull the rope in the direction oh. you want it to be anchored uh, off from. Oh, uh, 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 gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. If you want it anchored off from the front, so it's you just move that hold to the front. Yeah. It's only on one side. Yeah. It's only on yeah. one side. But yeah. It's a big length of rope looped at each end. Yeah. And you just move it front and back however you want. And I've got you that on my uh, really light anchor. And it depends on the size of the kayak. Okay, but compared to like a pond prowler even, I would think you'd need a, a bigger anchor because of how much exposed area to the wind there is. I mean, I used a five-pound dumbbell forever. For two years, I, that's what I used was a five-pound dumbbell. And that mine's held my kusa. Mine's an eight-pound chunk of lead. Well, I now have yeah, a six-pound ball that holds my 14-foot kayak in 20 mile an hour wind yeah i uh i just took a, a can soup can whatever and filled it with lead mine mine resembles a downrigger ball and when you drop that from so the first time i used it i was in 20 feet of water and i <laughs> you just i just it. i just let it free fall <laughs> down and i thought i'd gotten stuck in some rocks no, that that sucker just <laughs> it sucked down into the mud. That's and, funny. That's ooh, funny. Well, it took me a while to go. get that out. <laughs> uh, yeah, that slough that I fish sometimes on the kayak, that thing has just a ton of mud on the bottom of it. And I, even if you put it down soft, it's sometimes it's pulling. Yeah, it's only five feet deep, but you're pulling pretty hard to get that one out of the mud sometimes yeah but I, i've learned the trick of how to pull on the rope to make it pop out yeah yeah can 15, 15 pounds, pounds on a kayak out. is yeah <laughs> you're gonna end up flipping the kayak just trying to pull your anchor up yeah <laughs> uh yeah yeah, but Dale, you know, you said, that, you know, a six-hour video of, of nothing happening but fighting the wind. Those are the ones that I actually want to see. And, and you know, I'm going to put out some of those. This is what kayaking is like, not the, ooh, look, perfect boat position, and I can catch everything that, as soon as I drop it down. And that's. If I'm in a perfect boat position, I know I'm not catching anything. <laughs> that's <laughs> because... about the truth. On a kayak. That is so rare that I can get my kayak positioned perfectly for more than one cast that I know that one cast I'm not getting anything. Yeah. I uh I quit taking my kayak just on this section that's closest to the house because I can wade it 
it nothing's over waist deep down there and i can wade that and wading is so much easier you can cast where you want to you don't have to worry about which direction the wind is coming from or any of that stuff you can cast where you need it but, but i'm not underneath trees full of snakes i'm not either and then there's also the thing that you know if you you know hook a uh, a stringer you know up to your waders and then you pull the stringer up and you have a couple of snakes attached to the stringer because they want what you have we don't have snakes there well, is the rest of us do the snakes in the Oregon. Oregon that we have in this valley are garter snakes that are about two feet long that's the biggest snakes we have dire well, family farms can tell you that uh we've got seven nope ropes that you don't want to be near here in southwest yeah. oklahoma well, over, over the mountains they have their rattlers over there but not here we we have multiple rattlesnake roundups every year down in this part of the state in fact they're probably about to do them as they start coming out of the rocks we've really only got four uh venomous snakes the uh the cottonmouth copperhead the one of the rattlers um the white one whitish one uh what's it called anyway and then the pygmy but the pygmy is doesn't have much of a range here so where i grew up in virginia the only poisonous snake we had right in our area was the copperhead um down in southern virginia they had the cottonmouth and i think maybe out bobby might even have cottonmouth where he is down in williamsburg um, that was a couple hours from where I lived, but yeah. See, I you know I, I'm 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 fine with non-venomous snakes, but I still think if I pulled up my stringer and there was one attached to it, I would still you know you'd still jump a little bit at least in the water. <laughs> you might flip a kayak. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, Dyer got that one. I was just looking it up. So we got cottonmouths. They say also called water moccasins. There's the ones that scare the crap out of yeah. me. Yeah. Copperheads, western diamondbacks, timber rattlesnakes, western pygmies, western mas mas yeah, too many S's. Masasuga and prairie rattlesnakes. Yeah. Too What's many. up, Aaron? I have never seen a rattlesnake in the wild. I almost stepped I on one. I haven't either. I don't think. I I've never seen a, mo a water moccasin in the wild. I have seen a copperhead in the wild, and it struck at me twice before I even saw the thing. But uh, it was during the time of year when they're shedding their skin. So it couldn't see very well or else it'd have got me. But the only time I'll get close to a snake is at the zoo. Well, because the 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 water snakes, not the, the non venomous, they just you know, northern water snake and the you know, the they're very curious critters. They will just they will come up right next to you in a boat. Kind of stick their head out and go, hey, what you doing? <laughs> yeah. I I actually have a short of me uh, putting two treble hooks into the back of a water snake. Never let him get close enough to find out if it was venomous or not. I ended up getting him close enough, but I didn't cut a lot of line off. Yeah. I can't remember uh, if I was barefoot or not, but I was, I was fishing back in Virginia one time. We had those water snakes all the time back there too but um i was fishing in tall weeds around the pond and i was standing on a stick that it wasn't very comfortable standing there so i, I looked i moved and looked down <laughs> i was standing on a, one of those water snakes just sitting there looking at me like you gonna get off of me today or what <laughs> i got off of it now water snakes <laughs> attack Make no doubt about it. They they they'll tag you. They just you know. They well, hurt. that one didn't though. It was it just 
was sitting there. I I was standing on it, but yeah, it didn't uh, it didn't really care. <laughs> Giant Atlantic octopus known to sink container ships. Boring, you might be making that up. <laughs> well, that's a comment that I would have expected out of you, Mid South, honestly. I I caught a giant octopus um, in the Pacific Ocean. Well, I say I did. I was on Joe and Heidi's boat the day that we did. But I got some videos of that one. See if I can find some pictures of it here. That was a big old octopus, man. About six feet across, probably. That's going to be a long... Oh, here it is. Never mind. Right there. Got him in a crab pot. Hmm. Did you take him home? No, thought about it, but. Oh, my first time in the Gulf. So the first day we got there, we uh, I went ahead and got a beach guide. What's up, Terry? So he would, you know, could show us, you know, the basic Pompano rigs and all that stuff. And didn't have to buy a bunch of equipment. And he and my girlfriend were talking about jellyfish. And I'm glad they did because the next day. We went out and I saw this jellyfish are beautiful. If you've never seen one in person, it had like this faint pink line around it. And I went to grab it to figure out what it was. I thought it was trash or something. And when I touched it and felt the jelliness, I was like, Oh heck no. <laughs> and my girlfriend ended up getting stung by a different one. And I was like, I saw what they do. And I'm like, Oh Lord. Because, yeah, I mean, if I didn't know any better, I'd have picked that sucker right up. Did it get you at all? No, no. Um, I came at it from the top because I, I, you know, I just. Yeah. We got a like, lot of jellyfish out here, but I don't, I've never been stung by one. I don't even know if the ones that we have sting. But. Uh, I think the ones with the long tentacles. But. I mean, I, I guess I do touch them because when we're trolling for salmon, they get all wrapped up in our stuff and we get that all freed up and I've never been stung by one there. So, I don't know. You also have, I assume you have calloused hands, don't you? I don't know. Because apparently, at least, I, I did some research on the ones in the Gulf, at least, and like the palm of your hand, they can't really sting because the, the, the skin's too thick. They don't go very deep, but when they do, it's, you know, if they hit the, yeah. something soft, it's, it, it's not fun. <laughs> and they actually carry some ammonia on the boat so that, yeah, she got sprayed down. Because the kids are with her, like, hey, you know what? We're going to be on mom. <laughs> didn't she didn't think it was as funny as I did. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, live minnows boring for for a crappie. Yeah. Yep. Took them in the dorsal fin and let her fly. So is it in the dorsal fin or in the mouth or in the tail? Yes. I don't, actually, I think they do it in the mouth, don't they? I've done it in the mouth. I've done it in all three locations. Yeah. Just depends on who I'm with and how they want to do it. Yeah, let her fly. But typically I would I would hook them in the mouth. We got 37 thumbs up, so we need three more to do a giveaway, and then we need another ten more after that to do a magnet giveaway. Ken, the yeah. only thing I try to gut hook or catfish. <laughs> wow. But they, they keep trying to bite it with their mouth. I got hooked some herring when we were herring fishing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, last, uh, when I was down in the Gulf last month, I uh, was on my kayak, and I'm like, ooh, look, that's a dolphin. Let me get over there close to it. And I'm like, I hope it doesn't try to get my baits. 
And then I looked again and it had two um, dorsal fins. I'm like, uh, that ain't a dolphin. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wait, it was two dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that close your eyes to them. But I was like, I went from, man, I hope I hooked that thing to, oh, I don't want to hook that. <laughs> We got little yeah. teeny dolphins out here. I don't think they're the same ones you got. Yeah, they I've heard that runs. too. Hook, hook them that? through the eyes. I've heard that too. You put your minnow and you put the hook basically right behind their head in one eye and out the other. I've heard that too. That's just cruel and unusual punishment. What's up, John? Well, in theory, it's in the eye socket, not the actual eyeball, but yeah. I don't know if I've ever seen a wild dolphin on the East Coast, but I haven't been out in a boat much on the East Coast. Well, apparently, they're not like Flipper. <laughs> nope. They're like, oh, you got a fish? I eat it. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. You thought that was going on with you? Wow. They were, I had the ones out here were up about, Oh, they came within 20 yards of my boat one day when we were sitting out there. Yeah, Ken, I know what you mean, man. I was uh, watching one of the guys from South Texas, and he went up to, I want to say it's Crystal River. That may be wrong, but basically manatees love that area because it's there's a hot water discharge there and lots of grass. But he's like trying to fish. He's like, manatees are everywhere. I can't get rid of them. I'm sitting there going, Fire, if you hit the X to X out of the chat, should come up with a uh, thumbs up, I think. Go ahead there, Mitzel. Um, And he's like, you know, complaining about the manatees. I'm sitting there going, that is an experience most of us would kill for, to be surrounded by manatees. Because they're just so cute. And so docile, but anyway, it's kind of, it's perspective, I guess, is where I'm going with that. Yeah. Hey, we got 40 thumbs ups. Time to uh -huh. go. Nice. All right. I got to dig them all out again. Maybe we draw first and then find out if we're going to try to give away uh, boring and, and, Estes or if they won again. <laughs> we can do that. Everybody in. Hashtag sticker. Here we go. <laughs> if Hess wins, I'm leaving. On top of that, my back my laptop battery is about dead and it is it's pretty close to bedtime. So we got 15 peoples. Yeah, Dyer, go ahead and in a hashtag sticker every 20 so, or thumbs up. He draws for stickers and it's various people on here. Um, and you have a stick I did, board I did like at 25 and 40 and then at 50 thumbs ups I give away one of Skinner Farms magnets is the way that works so exactly what I said but different yeah exactly what he said but a little <laughs> different more accurate but close it, it was all it was all pretty close there were words. Some of them were right. There you go. Yeah. What he said. Chad <laughs> Thompson. Oh, yeah. You know, funny thing is, Chad gave me his address to send him some stickers one day. And uh, I looked it up on Google. And uh, I was like, I'm not sure if that's his place or not. And I zoom in on it. And I see his old pontoon sitting out in the yard. I say, yep. That's his house. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, already got that one. Oh, Seagull, what was that? your kayak? We got to the NAR and then... Uh... Oh, what? okay. So, actually, we were talking about my wife's Tupelo. And then I've yeah. got my Kusa HD that I fished out of for two years. And it's still in there because sometimes I don't want to take a 140-pound kayak somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like to a pond. So I have yep. that, and then I have my new NAR. That, All right. 
takes I'll up a lot these. of space. I'll show these off. We are giving away my style baits, Woody's trapping, Ken the boring fisherman, Queen Hess. Burrito Catfish Lady. I still don't have one of those. Randy Old Gray Haired Fisherman. Hitch by Hitch. Two of his. Molly's Pest Hunter's Best Catch. This is a different one than I gave away in the first one. And also another one of Pest Hunter's. And off the hook outdoors. Hitch by ditch pickle. Yes, sir, e Bobby. All right. Now, let's go back here and share screen. Uh, da -da, da -da. And go ahead and draw. We got 19 entries. Who is it? Me. Hitch by hitch. Ah. Well, that means I got to take hitch by hitches out of there. Because I don't. I guess that saves you on uh, postage too. Yeah, I'll probably just end up sending them to him because the uh, aggravation of trying to meet up with him is just. Yeah, we we cross paths about He's once a month. You're going to put him to work. What's that? He's afraid you're going to put him to work pulling pots. I Yeah. We, we've watched the videos. I pulled all the pots on his boat. Thank you very much. You didn't uh, watch his video. Not what I, no, I've watched his video. Not I've seen I him do a whole day all by himself. Good night, Ken. Yeah, he does go out by himself. I don't know if he's still in here, is he? Yeah, he says he's leaving. Yeah. Yeah, told him it's bedtime. That's all right. I could give him to Terry. That's Jake's brother. Jake wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Terry's in here. He he he'd probably be like, hey, that's not a bad idea. He says, yeah, I never win. <laughs> You're going to have to talk to your brother and tell him that uh, he needs to give you some. Has everybody subscribed to OtterCat? <laughs> we, got him, we got him way up to 84 or something, and he was back down to 61 like two days later. Really? He was at 74 the next morning. That kind of ticked me off. Yeah, he was. Oh, there's Otter Cat right there. What's up, Otter Cat? Why do you think I said it? I didn't see him come in. <laughs> share his link. <laughs> I'll share his link. He said he's going to do a live when we get to 100. Well, I mean, let's get him to 100. He's at 62 right now. Yeah, I, I did a bunch of videos and couldn't get to 100. And these guys are going, you know, once you get me to 100, I'll do a video. See, we're just doing it wrong. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I think he blocks people so it doesn't show up. People have no respect. <laughs> What's up, Eddie? <laughs> We got all kind of respect, Otter Cat. Hey, Otter, check this out. That came from Dan Davis. It's not full, but it's half full. Thank you, Dyer family. I know that you've seen his channel. He has nothing on there. So that's part of the joke of trying to get him subscribers for absolutely no reason. Mm. 
He's a good supporter, though, because, I mean, oh, I, yeah. gave him, I gave him a little bucket. It's a one of a kind, and nobody else will ever get a bucket like that. And Yeah, he gets it appraised every thousand, every new thousand subscribers I get. He goes and gets an appraisal on it. And oh, wow. <clears throat> it's Nutria Lure. Can't you read it? It says I'm 500 N away from nine. N U T R I A, number one. So I know you've got a video of what a nutria is, but re explain the difference in a nutria and whatever else they look like. So a nutria is when they swim, if you don't know the, if you don't know, if you haven't seen a bunch of them, you'd think it was a beaver swimming. But they have a rat tail. And they're okay. also, the biggest one I've ever caught and weighed was 21 and a half pounds. The, they probably average 15 pounds. Oh, you've got Seven. big ones. Yeah, they're big. Uh. They're otter across from a squirrel they're, and a they're uh, smaller than an otter, though, but they dig like muskrats, so they're just they do tons of damage and they reproduce like rats. They're they're cross between a squirrel and a horse, yeah, somewhere in there. <laughs> 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 it, it, if it was out on dry land, um you would think you were looking at a great big rat. That's exactly what they look like. And I'm talking great big is in 20 pounds. I, I've seen your videos and I couldn't tell the difference between them and a raccoon. The eyeballs. Well, they don't have ring tails. Well, but you, when I see them on your videos, they're dead. What's so up? Our, I see and their faces. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's, a, there's one short that I did where I kind of almost didn't post it because I was just making a, making the thing mad. It was in a trap and people don't like that. But uh, if you go look at that one, you can see them live. It's, it's in the water, but yeah. Um, I did get one. I, I actually got a couple hate comments on that one, but I had one guy telling me I had nothing better to do than to an antagonize uh, harmless animals or something like that. I don't, uh, <laughs> whatever. Okay. Tell them Thanks to go eat their in, spinach and arugula. Hey, Dyer. Have a good one. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate you. Yeah, my watch just told me it's bedtime as well. So, yeah. I got to go home get ready. go to bed at the same time because well, you kept me up past my bedtime. We'll see. You're welcome. <laughs> You know, having a job again sucks. <laughs> that was the best two months of freedom. I, I, I believe it, man. I, I mean, yeah, you're not very good at retiring, just so we're clear. <laughs> well, yeah, but you see that I haven't shaved in a week. That's one retirement advantage now. Yeah. In a week? That so. stuff doesn't even smell that bad, though. I mean, here, let me take the cap off so you can smell yes. Yes, a week. Let me get closer because I'm as gray as Earl there. It, it's there. It's just, well, the light's not letting you see it. But, yeah, I, 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 I've it's got as gray as Earl. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get a shower before my life tonight. I was turning black. My arms were all black from welding and grinding and stuff, and Woo! Do you want to come help weld on my new trailer? My no. new to me trailer? No. Come on. It's, you bring uh, the welder and I'll bring the supplies. No. You bring the welder and the supplies and I'll let you. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for having me on. It is bedtime. Yep. I'm tired. Thanks for coming I'm going to stay on for a little while yet, but.
Thanks yeah, even my dogs are those. starting to circle and saying, hey, it's bedtime. Yeah. Have See y'all the- next week or whenever somebody else is live. Yep. Okay. See you later. later. Well, I'm going to go ahead and drop down too since, you know, Dell is Lisa's favorite kayaker and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for having me, Earl. No problem. Skinner, I would come help you just for something different, but all right, Bobby, time to come up. John, who else? Otter Cat, Terry, who's coming up? Lisa, you're coming up, Otter Cat? Otter Cat says yes. I can't quit yawning. I need a drink of tea. I'll be right back. My wife had them pre-poured in the fridge. What up, Bobby? Thought my phone was falling for a second. Why? I looked up and I have it in this little like stand thing, and it was sliding down the side, but it got stopped by the volume button. You you didn't holler no 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 no. That's a terrible hat you got on. <laughs> All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> there you go. Now you can't see it. I don't care if you wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. I just I just ordered fifty more hats. Nice. So if you guys want one, they are uh, twenty five bucks plus shipping. Which comes to thirty one dollars. I think it's six bucks to ship them. Six or I, I forget if I was saying thirty one or thirty two bucks. I don't know. Thirty one's fine. And that's just continental U.S. though, right? Yes. Uh. Need to get some hats made. Any suggestions? I don't know. Um, Sarah got some made, I think, cheaper than I did. But she was, mine are embroidered. And hers are the leather patches. And is it just leather patches or is it? Uh, oh, that was nice of her, Dyer. <clears throat> I don't even know if I have any hats in the house. That's yeah, I think I do. I think I have my gray and navy ones. I should should have them out here when I'm doing my lives for sure. And have a hoodie draped over the couch or something so people can see them, you know what I mean. I don't I'm not very good at pushing my merch at all. <laughs> you just need <clears throat> Jeez, excuse me. You just need to do like a cut segment that you just add in like halfway through your videos, like 30 minute segment. If you want a hoodie like this or a hat like this, go to my merch. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> Yeah, except that people don't watch my videos halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> so that wouldn't do very much good either. So It might. It might. You got some people that do. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Backpacking fishing stuffs. Backpacking fishing stuffs? 
Is that what you just moved over there? Oh, uh, yeah. There you go. This thing is awesome. What kind of fish are you going to pull in with that rope? Uh, it's for the... Uh, That's your magnet. stringer? <laughs> no, nah, it's it's for a magnet. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. But I figured since I got the little carabiner hooks on the front of the bag, I might as well put something on there. <clears throat> yeah. I could always use it as an anchor rope. Right. Or to tie up a body and weight it down. Now nah, we use chains for that. Just to make sure oh. it goes back up. <laughs> <laughs> Plotting all kinds of good stuff out here, man. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know that's what scallop boats are for. How many thumbs ups we got? 45. We need five more. I could do five more, but I'm on my phone on here, so I can't. <laughs> got a link for hook fishing? Type in the chat there, Bobby. If they if he types in the chat, I can, can just go to phone. are you you I'll get I'll get you the link. I'll get you the link right here. Yeah, unfortunately I can't type in the chat while I'm on my I got you. laptop. I could. Coming up right here. Boom. There's his link. You I beat you. Found I it? beat you, Lisa. You actually on, found it? On a, on I was one up the chat and found it. Uh, okay. That makes more sense. On my phone I beat you. On the computer I didn't beat you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that was a good one there <laughs> <laughs> all right look i was excited that was that was like my pb bash we ain't bashing you for it we're just <laughs> laughing with you <laughs> uh yeah <clears throat> i need to beat that though It's been, we've had some really weird weather lately. Like the days that it'd be perfect to go fishing, by the time you can get everything ready, it's cooled down so much that you, you don't even want to walk outside. Yeah. This week is supposed to be pretty nice uh, around here. So I might get some fishing in. I'm, I thought I was going to get my trap set today for beaver again. Yeah, and that didn't happen. So I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow. Not sure if I'll be able to or not, or if I have to set that other building up after I get my job done. Are you still uh, trying to trap beaver on that one property? Yeah, they're back again. So I got to go back in there and get them. Uh, I got my trail cam back there right now. That was uh, my next question. Set up on them so. But I went back there Friday. I knew they were back there before Friday. I just went back there to look around. Right. And uh, I, I walked into where that tree, where they had dumped that tree down shortly after I started last time. That whole place just stinks like beaver. Like they are in there thick. I mean, I don't know if they're in there thick or if their cast mound was just around there, but. I, uh, PA, I caught three earlier this, or that was actually last year I caught them in December, but, um, I don't, I don't have my trap set yet. Was that you, John, that gave away those, uh, Duke 550s on the fundraiser for, Oh, what family was that? Iowa Trapper did the fundraiser for him. Um, I got those. I got those six Duke five fifties. I'm gonna use them to trap beaver with. I got them all rigged up on drowners like uh, Dan Davis's. 
Yeah, Terry, they say beaver's really good. I've never eaten it before, but they say it's really good. Yeah, Merton's, that's it. I've never really had a desire for... That was... Like... Owls Outdoors did that? Body of a beaver. But I've always wanted to try beaver tail. I'm sure beaver tail is delicious. No, oh, that was you? Okay, got you. Yeah, I, I got those traps, and uh, I got them set up on, I got them rigged up on drowners, so. Uh, Going to try smacking a few of those beavers with them. Last time you were trying to uh, trap beavers, didn't you get more nutria? Oh, I got so many nutria. I and got 17, and then you 17 nutria and three beaver out of about 25 yards of creek or ditch, whatever. That's no lie. And I go back there now and there's at least that much sign and it's most likely nutria. Yeah. So it's ridiculous. What's up, Sandy? Welcome in. Come on up on panel. Nice. Otter cat with a smally. Sandy. That's a big smally. Yeah, it is. Uh, I did see your catches last year in December. Did you upload? You did not? Yeah, there. I uploaded them in December. I think. Either that or right after the first of the year. What's up, Grits? We had caught mouth thick in Louisiana, dude. Are you way behind or are you... Uh, I was going to ask the same thing. We have not been talking about snakes for like 30 minutes. Forty five thumbs ups. Still. Five more, y'all. Five more. Three more than this. A magnet giveaway from Skinner Farms. I know. I'm trying to win that. I've been wanting one of those for a while. Caught 45 white bass, six smallmouth, two walleye, and one striper. <laughs> What's up, Dan O'Hare? From Milton Free Water. What's oh, up, you're Lisa? leaving us, uh, Lisa? Have a good one. Later. What's up, Connery? Later, Lisa. Time to crash for tonight. All right, Randy. Have a good one. I was thinking of doing the same thing, but I'm hungry, so I'm staying up. <laughs> oh. Man, this, this bag is actually pretty cool. It it holds 90% of my gear. Now, if it could just hold 90% of my fishing poles, that'd be in business. But that'd be a lot of fishing poles. Yeah. I have far too many. Well, Sandy, I haven't been able to get out into the ocean much. But the bass fishing, the first time I went bass fishing was really good. A lot better than I thought it was going to be. I went out again, I think last week, got skunked. I did get a bite and I had it. I probably lost it because I turned my GoPro on. But then uh, I didn't upload a video on that one. And then... 
I haven't been out since, so. Do you have your voice settings on for your GoPro? No. I've thought about turning them on because I, I, I know I miss fish because I'll get a bite and I'll go to set the hook. <clears throat> at the same time, I'm trying to like press the button on my chest. Hold it. Check this out. Yeah, the eclipse. You see what is in there, though? No. That was by accident. You see those two marks? Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me do this. See what that is? Talking about the two black marks on the side? Two black marks and then look at the other side. Okay, what is it? A jet flew across it. Oh, interesting. That's pretty when cool. I, when I was looking at it earlier, I saw like the condensation trail of something that was going across it, but I didn't actually see uh, a vehicle of any sort. I do know that they were supposed to send up like three rockets while it was happening. That may be what that is. No, it's a jet. You can see it. You can see the tail and the wings. I can because okay. it's not on a teeny tiny little screen like yours. But <clears throat> somebody was just uh, uh, snapping pictures and got that. That is pretty cool. Try not to look directly. I wasn't Otter Cat. It was, uh, I was looking <laughs> at the moon. <laughs> but I saw that exact same thing with my bare eyes however many years ago that thing was here. I looked up for about two okay. seconds and that looked exactly like that. That would have been seven years ago that I went from Washington across. Wait, I don't think it was in Washington. I think it was in Oregon. Unless it hit. I the think it started in Washington and came down the, or maybe it's, I don't know. Because this, this time it started in, where North America would see it, it started in Mexico and came across, like, Texas, Arkansas, uh, yeah. all that. It was in most western states in 2017. It went all the way across, though, didn't it? Down to Florida or somewhere? Yeah, yeah. Because it was a, yeah, that was a long ways out across there. But yeah, it wasn't very long right here. Um, like I said, it was only about 10 seconds at my house. If I would have gone... Five miles further north, I'd have had a minute and a half, I think. Something like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, we didn't get a totality here in Virginia. Um, it was interesting, though, because obviously things did get a little darker. Outside yeah. kind of looked smoky. Yeah. It, it was very strange. Yeah, that's kind of what it was here for 30 minutes before it happened. And then... Uh, after it happened, it was kind of just kind of that way too, a little bit maybe, but yeah. I say, I think what I read was Virginia got like eighty three percent 
or somewhere in the 80 80 percent range today or yeah today oh yeah uh terry um how long was it full uh fully covered at your house in 2017 because you were probably way closer to the center center of it than we were here I saw that scanner. You could actually see what what was happening, though. Can't remember, but it felt like two minutes. Yeah. Two minutes in Dallas. So Dallas and Albany were probably about the same. Yeah. And those were uh, total, right? Yeah. It was the same as what it was today. Like in, yeah, we were in the path. But. Yeah. Jake, you won the second sticker pack that we did. We need two more thumbs ups to give a, a magnet away from Skinner Farms. Hey, Jake's back. Jake's back. I don't know who Louisiana Life is. I mean, I, I might know who he is. But I'm uh, going to guess that they're from Louisiana. Yeah, I'm guessing they are too, but <laughs> is, he the one that, is he the one that goes out and shoots nutria all the time in that boat? <laughs> River to ocean. Oh, yeah, he gave it to me. <laughs> Miss the streaker. What? <laughs> Yeah, I saw that, Jake. He lost a ton of them, like 20. More than 20. Like 23. We're trying to get him back up to 100 here, but... He got 62 now. Mine says 62. 62 likes? Otter denied them. No. Uh, 62 thumbs or 62 subscribers. We got Otter Cat up to 84 the other night on Cindy's live. And then in two days, he was back down to 61 or something. Though. Yeah, I'm still like eight or nine away from 500. <clears throat> Yesterday I gained a whole bunch on my channel again for once. I've been getting a fair bit of views, but well, I say that and then I look and it's way down again. It's actually not way down. It's down from what it was earlier, but not way down. I'm still getting almost 700 every 28 days, so I'm happy with that. <clears throat> See, what I need to happen, I need one person to go make 508 Google accounts and subscribe to me from all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but then you'd still need, well... And then what they'd have to do with those accounts is uh, put uh, put the your playlist on so oh, yeah. you get your watch hours. Yeah. Well, 
No, I need to. I just need to start doing lives again, just to catch up on some watch hours. What are you talking about, Sandy? You lying, somebody? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think he's on something. I'm not sure. <laughs> Did you want those Earl has crab stickers to give out? I don't even have one for myself. I was saying, if he doesn't want them, I will take them because that's not. I awesome. want. I want one for myself for sure. <laughs> you're running on an hour of sleep. You're not responsible for anything today. It seems about right. <laughs> Just today? Well, it's actually tomorrow, if we're all honest. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sandy's in the future. She's a time traveler. <clears throat> I got a hitch has the cure for the itch. Yeah, I don't want any of those. I just want one of the ones. <laughs> I have crabs. As stupid as that is. I had a rattle rattler bite my pickup tire and flip on to the mirror bracket. Well, yeah, that'd be a little scary. <clears throat> You made some otter stickers, too? Well, I mean, I got an otter cat sticker, a genuine otter cat sign sticker right I here. I do, too. Yep, Bobby does, too. And I think, I think Sandy has one. That's the only three he made that I know of. But Otter Cat has a genuine hand signed bucket, stainless steel bucket <laughs> from me. <coughs> yeah, I bet it is. <laughs> Snakes won't die until after dark. Even if you cut the head off, it can still bite you. That's for sure. <clears throat> it's the brown circle with the white O. <laughs> That's awesome. Does it have the little uh, uh, YouTube symbol down on the bottom? Bird, is... bird shot's pretty good for getting rid of snakes. I sent you one, Sandy. You get your hat yet, Sandy? So I may work on some stickers and jigs. There you go. <clears throat> yeah. I know it. I hate that too, John. I wish we could get rid of that thing. Yeah, I don't understand what it's there for. It does nothing. What are you talking about, uh, Skinner? You can add the YouTube symbol to to your sticker. I just made a sticker and added it to it. 
Yeah, I, they wouldn't stop you from doing that. It's promotion for them. I know you don't have your hat yet, Cindy. Uh, Cindy. Sandy. I know you don't have your hat yet. I was just being dumb, but evidently Jake was supposed to keep that orange one and do a giveaway on his channel with it. So I got to get that back. Maybe I'll stick it in the envelope. I don't think so. Maybe it's just the teespring that won't do it. Oh, that could be. <laughs> uh, all right, Otter Cat, here goes. Remove a standard mod. There you go. She's fair game now. <laughs> run, Sandy, run. What's up, Skippers Aquatics? What's up, Josh? What's up, Skipper's Aquariums? Oh, I said aquatics. Same thing. Aquariums, aquatics. Eh, close. I can't read. <laughs> Don't do it, Otter, she said. Yeah, you're a mod. Mid-South. I've actually Everyone's thought about it here. I've actually so, thought about building an aquarium for myself, but I live above a basement, and I'm not sure my floor could handle the weight of a, an aquarium. You don't think the floor could handle the weight of Sandy? You are lucky she's in Australia. <laughs> I was on solo this whole time. I don't know what in the world. Yep. <laughs> well, you, why didn't you say something? I, I don't know. I was just minding my business, hanging out. I don't think so, Skinner. <laughs> Sandy, you know you were you were you were kind of missing all the people. Giving you a hard time. That's the only reason you come into my life. So, you know. Why would I de wrench you again? Otter. <laughs> 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 Line weight six to fourteen pound. Action medium. That's nice, Skinner. That's nice. You go fishing in there often? <laughs> six foot six inch. I think I'm going to put some 30-pound braid on this. Where's the bathroom sign, Bobby? One more thumbs up. Right there. Yep, we're at 49. Come on, Sandy. Hit the thumbs up. Oh, man, I am tired of Huh? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's right back there. I don't see it. It's right above your head? No, right there. Yeah, that one. 
That's right above your head in line with the camera there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. If I touch that button again, you don't get the light back. <laughs> I already hit it with all mine, so I can't do it. I have it, but I can't because I'm on my phone. Yeah. And I'm hungry. <laughs> Does she scare the fish instead of you? <laughs> I ran out of bots. Well, because I only have like two plus two plus <laughs> no. You see 50? I see 50. I see 50. Ah, Josh Skinner is going to give away a magnet just like that one. To, to one lucky winner, you got to put in hashtag magnet oh i don't know if i can i'll put it in for you with one of my bots so hashtag magnet okay i did with one of my bots what's up laurie i appreciate that Gotta run and pick up the kid from B ball. All right, have a good one there, uh, Terry. Hashtag magnet. Here we go. We have 16 entries. 18 entries, my bad. You're a creeper. I'm drawing. Who is it? Queen has it. That's a that's a crock right there. That thing is rigged. Queen has. Uh, Josh, do you have their address? I can send it to you if you don't. But yeah, it's rigged. For sure, it's rigged. Because okay, Ken didn't, just, didn't Ken think it was bad like twelve hours ago. <laughs> you were just looking. Later, Carter. Later, Carter. Rigged for show. Sure. I don't know what I want to eat. Try food. Be the best thing. That's an idea. It's too late to actually like cook anything, cook anything. Yup, yup. Oh, King Slew commented on my video. I don't hear much out of him anymore. He's yeah. the he's the one that I did the roof for, and he fell off the roof. Remember that? Yeah. Did he did he make like a full recovery? Yeah, pretty much. Oh wow, that's that's crazy, pretty... but whoo. It broke him up good. Oh, I remember. Broke him up real good. Or bad, however you want to say it. Collarbone. Uh, 
shoulder blade, pelvis in two places, and geez, what else? Oh, separated his sternum. Oh. You wouldn't hang around if anyone pushed you off the roof? Yeah, I know it. <laughs> I wasn't even on the roof, so I couldn't push him off. But. Wait a bit and eat breakfast? Yeah, I don't really eat breakfast. Eat cold fish from the fridge. I don't have any cold fish. That's because you don't ever go out and catch fish. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go catch them first. That's the thing. When I do go out, I don't catch fish. <laughs> Later, John. No, I need to go do some catfish. Here. I haven't done any catfish in a while. <clears throat> Down to nine people in here. I'm about ready to head out, too. Yeah, you <coughs> can't keep on and you're almost two hours. You got eight minutes and some change left. Yeah. We can make it to two hours. Cold, Cold fish from the fridge is sushi. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had some sushi. That'd be awesome. Like a jaguar roll from each So, Sandy, bucket. you're not coming up on panel is what I'm hearing. Sandy don't like us anymore. I know it. She does not like us at all. She wouldn't even come up on panel last time I was on when I put up the Italian flag just for her. I'm with you, Otter. I am with you on that. Well, see, I don't, I don't eat like sushimi or any of the raw stuff. I get fried sushi, bait with soy sauce. <laughs> Mine comes with dill sauce. All right. What if soy? What if soy milk was just regular milk introducing itself in Spanish? <laughs> Uh, you're back. <clears throat> I bet you're making sure isn't fishing right now. Eh, there might be. No, he's on my live. You can do both. Well, I guess you could. Yes, kid. Um, here's another. Here's another picture of the eclipse from point and shoot photography that's a really good shot there that is a good one uh later dyer later dyer again i do too jake <laughs> the only reason I haven't let you on my boat is because it was in the shop when you were around. And then when it when when it was out of the shop, you left for work. And uh, I haven't seen you since. So moral of the story is if you want to go fishing, don't go to work. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, you're right, Jamaican. <laughs> it didn't do it here this time either. It did last time, but not this time. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I didn't have the little glasses or anything. I was looking through a welding mask. Jake, you should ask. Uh, <laughs> you should ask uh, Steve how my boat runs, <laughs> or how I run my boat. <laughs> I gave Steve the ride of his life out there Saturday. Oh, me back. About through Parker overboard. <laughs> That's why Steve goes home early when you take him out. <laughs> Steve's a crazy man. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get any of that on video, Steve? <laughs> I didn't. Because I was driving the boat. I had to make sure I didn't hit anything. Or throw anyone out. We were doing, uh, we were doing uh, those competitions to park the boat out on the bay. Except we were doing it with crab pots, and Parker was grabbing the crab pots. <laughs> <laughs> you can get across some crab pots that way, man. Let me tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> Old Steve couldn't stay standing up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll just take my boat. <laughs> <laughs> Premier's Wednesday, I'll have to check that out. <laughs> oh, yeah. <sighs> Skinner Farms just put a video out. Thought Skinner Farms was in here. <clears throat> What's up, Barbie? Uh, yes. I called them one day and they said it would be resolved. And then I had another package go out for or be out for delivery. And my postal worker decided just because the name is similar that she wasn't going to deliver that package. Why didn't, put it on, didn't put it on our truck, nothing, just left it at the post office, returned to sender. So when it said out for delivery. And then said up, it was forwarded, forwarded. I called again and I spoke to the lady, another lady. And she goes, oh, yeah, it's all forwarded because of this, this and that. I was like, no, 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 that's not the right name. And it finally got resolved, hopefully permanently. I, I don't think I'd, I'm going to be able to handle calling every time I'm waiting for a piece of mail. What's up, Stunt and Huff? I thought we were done with that. What were what were we done with? That that is true, Barbie. Although the first time I called, technically, well, literally the first time I called, I got hung up on, so I had to call back. That's when they said it would be resolved, and then the next day it was not resolved, so I had to call back again. Yeah, the, the automated thing was like, we're something about waiting to see or speak to a representative. And as soon as it said that, it ended the call. The, the automated service hung up on me. Matt's nickname is Gills or what? I know nothing about it. Uh. 
scanner. I send them out that way all the time. I think. For the ones that I don't know their names anyway, I do. Like Skipjack Cindy's. <laughs> no one had ever guessed her name was Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> Stunting and Huff. I sent his out, Stunting and Huff. I don't know if I ever sent anything to Hunt and stuff. <clears throat> I may have. Oh. Hey, we made two, 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 two hours. Yeah. But yeah, Barbie, it, it was the right you number. Want crab when he eats him? What is up with that mess? <laughs> I don't think I did, Jamaican. Did you get mine? Yeah, exactly, Dan. I worked really hard today. I keep yawning. You already been asleep for like three hours tonight for some reason. Yeah, this is just a bad dream. You got rods? All right. uh, I didn't send mine for about a week after I said I was going to, I think. So... It's probably been gone a week now. I'm guessing somewhere around a week. So I think I'm I think I mailed it last Monday. So it's probably probably uh should be getting there any day. Trying to make it to the two hour mark before I head out. It already is two hours, two hours and two minutes and thirty seconds. Got me a bait caster. I stay away from the Columbia too. Hard work went out the window. <laughs> Some people it did. I'm too old to work hard anymore though. That's for sure. Yeah, I wish the ocean would settle down. Anyhow, you guys already shut her down? I think I'm going to go get some sleep. Yeah, I'm going to go get some food. Food? Food. You going to get it through the post office? Or are you... That's going to take forever. <laughs> 16 years planting concrete. Yeah, I guarantee you're going to be tired. Uh, Dan, do you know my, do you, do, do you ever use pump trucks? Because my brother runs a pump truck over there out of LaGrand. I bet you you've seen him before. You just got here. Well, I mean, that's. So. I don't know if you. Uh, his name is Andrew. I don't know if you've met him before or not, but I bet you have. He's He's been doing it for. Oh, probably two or three years now. I 
I don't know what line to put on this. 30 pound. Um, it's tiny. That's what I got on mine, though. I put, well, <laughs> that one that I was going to give away and I didn't. Yeah. I put 30 pound braid on that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, what does this screw on this side do? You've been, oh, you've been out since 2013. What's that? That's a break. That's a break. You want that at least midway up when you, that's for when you cast and you don't thumb it. It's supposed to slow the spool down. How do I know what it's set on? This is so confusing. This is why I like spinning rolls better. This is either on 10 or 2. <laughs> you want it about 8, 7 or 8 to start with. And then if it, if it backlashes on you, then you want to go a little more. But Seven and a half. I should I should show you how to um, tune the thing from the start. You have to tune it with every different weight you put on it. That's so much work. It actually isn't. It's not hard to do at all. I never I never move the fine tuner once I get that one dialed dialed in. It's the other one that I mess with. But That's fine. you can, yeah, yeah. And the way you do that one is you you hold the rod up with your weight on the end yeah. and hit the button, and it's supposed to go to the floor and stop, and it shouldn't keep spinning. Gotcha. You, you tune it enough to where it stops once it hits the floor, and then you can cast it. And then what's the star thingy for? That the drag? Yeah, that's the drag. Yeah, the ocean's good enough they can go on the charters, but my little boat can't go out on the ocean. But all right, now that we got that figured out for you, Bobby, I think I'm gonna shut her down. Yeah, it has been it's, angry lately. Um, I'm going to uh, put some line on this tomorrow and see how many times i got to cut it off before I get it right. Hey, you, know, I did, you shouldn't have to cut it off. <laughs> you, you don't know me and bait casters. <laughs> well, thumb the thing. Try. Don't forget the video the first time you use that, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Mr. Duggar? We're on our way out. But thanks for showing up. I appreciate you. <clears throat> Later, everyone. I'm going to head on out. I appreciate you showing up, guys. And uh, I will catch you next Monday. Have a good one.